Howdy folks and welcome to another Automation Anywhere technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to look at the integration between Automation Anywhere and IBM's ODM, the Operational Decision Manager. So I'm not going to talk uh, too much about ODM other than to say it's a rule engine and what it does is it allows business to be able to describe rules and then IT to be able to automate those rules and what that means is that when an application wishes to know an outcome of a decision, for example a pricing decision, it can go and ask ODM and ODM will come back with the answer. This allows business to make rule changes without having to impact on IT. As long as IT can invoke the ODM server to get the answer to a rule, IT is happy and business can be happy by making changes to the rules without the involvement of IT. So in a nutshell that's ODM. But in this story I want to talk about Automation Anywhere and how it can leverage this. When I buy some of my hobby equipment, I go to my website and I say I want to buy $10 of goodness and I put in that stuff and then a pop-up appears and says if you spend a mere $30 or $40 more we'll give you a 5% discount. That encourages me to spend more money. So I go there and I spend now $60 worth of goodness and it says if you spend another $40 you'll be over the $100 threshold and you'll get a 10% discount. Oh, and the list keeps going on and on and on. So the more money I spend with my hobby supplier, the more discount they give me. Uh, let's say we want to run a business where we get, uh, for example, mail orders and we want to calculate the discount. Well, we, we could get out our handy spreadsheet, uh, not our handy spreadsheet, our calculator and calculate those discounts or we might have a set of business rules that calculates the discounts for us. For example, here is one baked in, here's one I built out in ODM. So here we have the amount of a purchase. If it's between zero and fifty dollars then I don't give a discount. If it's between fifty and a hundred dollars I give a five percent discount. A hundred and two hundred dollars I give a ten percent discount. And over two hundred dollars I give a fifteen percent discount. These are my rules. This is how my business operates today. But maybe in the future I want to change the discount amounts or change the thresholds at which those discounts apply. So I can describe this to ODM and ODM is now a service that provides the answer to the question of given a particular purchase amount, what is the amount of discount that should apply to that purchase. Great, super, that's ODM. Now let's talk about uh, Automation Anywhere. Imagine I have a spreadsheet like this. This is my spreadsheet data and this represents purchases made by customers. This is what they ended up purchasing. I don't know what my discount val values are and I want to fill in the actual shipped or billed price. So if I was presented with a spreadsheet like this Classically, I would go, okay, he spent $110, I would look up my chart of $110 is, oh, I can't remember now, what was it? It was $110 is 10% discount. So I might now calculate a 10% discount and plug it in there and calculate the build price. That's manual. That's if I was doing it manually. But what if I wanted to automate this? So this is where Automation Anywhere can come in. So we'll start with the notion that we get these two columns as input. The uh, thing bought and the price. And we want to calculate the discount and the build price. So rather than laboriously take you through it, here's an Automation Anywhere task that I've already created. And what I'll do is I'll take you through this. So in my Automation Anywhere task, first thing I do is I open up my spreadsheet. That's my spreadsheet of data. Then I get all of the cells within that spreadsheet. And uh, in there I said, get me all the cells. Great. And when I opened the spreadsheet, I said the, the spreadsheet contains a header, so ignore the first row. Now I loop through each of the rows in the spreadsheet. And what I do is I extract uh, column number two of my data, which is, if we look back at the spreadsheet, column number two, column B, is the price. So for each row retrieved, 
I set the I, I retrieve the price from the spreadsheet and save it in a local variable called amount. Now here's where something interesting happens. I make a SOAP web service call. If we open this up, I'm making a SOAP web service call. Now the value comes from the uh, the variable that I've defined in here, but uh, the SOAP web service call is targeted to my ODM server. When we deploy in IBM's ODM uh, environment, when we deploy a uh, operation, that operation immediately becomes visible as a SOAP-based web service. So I can download or otherwise obtain the web services description language, the WSDL file, that when invoked causes that service to be executed. And what that service does is it calculates the discount. So I give that service as input the amount of the charge and it returns for me the uh, amount of discount based upon these rules. So if we go back to our automation anyway, what this does is it retrieves and saves in a variable called discount the amount of the discount. Now I have to do a, a little bit of arithmetic here. The current row that I'm working on has to be added, has to have one added to it, so I can go back to this, uh, uh, the spreadsheet. The reason for this is the cells are uh, the cells in the spreadsheet are labeled relative to the header. So instead of this being row two, this is row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, because we said we've got a header. They're offset by one, so I have to do a little bit of arithmetic there. And then I set the cell in the spreadsheet corresponding to column C of the correct row, column C being the discount. I set in there my new calculated discount. We loop around and then we close the spreadsheet. Now, this is it. This is all there is to it. So let's bring the spreadsheet up and let's run the rules. I hit the run button. And the spreadsheet, of course, disappears because we've got the run concept up here. We're now running through the spreadsheet, boom, and it's done. That took, I don't know, a second to execute there. No way could I have done that manually in a second. So let's bring up the new spreadsheet now, close it, and let's open it again. Let's bring up the spreadsheet, and let's see what the spreadsheet says is in the data. And there we have the discount amounts calculated from the prices and with the new build amounts. That is so cool. That is so cool. So we got here a 5% discount for things between uh, 50 and 100. Let's go in and make a rule change. So let's go to our ODM environment. Uh, what do we say? 5%. Let's make it a 7% discount. I save my table there, and again, I'm doing this through the ODM editor, but it can be done through a web page as well. I'm going to redeploy my solution, so I'm changing my rules. I'm changing my rules. I change my ODM-based rules. Now let's go and rerun my automation anywhere. Let's go rerun automation anywhere. This time I'll switch on debugging, so we can actually see the the uh, the rules be ch the 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 changes being made so it's having a cook uh it's running my hands off the keyboard and now we see it running through the steps notice it's changed it from five percent to seven percent and the calculations changed for us that's excellent that is really really nice stuff it shows how easy it is to integrate odm with automation anywhere now let's back up a second because we've been talking technical here. What ODM provides for us is a decision server. What that means is that I can describe decisions that are usually made in my mind or from uh, written rules and those decisions can be exposed as services which Automation Anywhere can execute. Now what that means to us is that we can write Automation Anywhere tasks and have those tasks make decisions as they operate. So rather than thinking of Automation Anywhere as a 
dumb execution engine where it's always going to execute the same calculations over and over again uh, 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 in a rote fashion. Instead, if we combine Automation Anywhere with the power of ODM, we have the ability to have Automation Anywhere change its execution paths, i.e. do different things depending upon the outcome of those decisions. And rather than those decisions being made by human beings, we can have our business analysts at an extremely high level describe those decisions to ODM and then have ODM consulted during the automation of the execution of our tasks by trivially, in a one-liner, making a call to ODM to have it done. Okay, I hope you found something useful here, folks. Look forward to making more of these videos in the future. Bye for now.